right, went ahead and uh, polished this neck up a little bit. Just, you know, use some plain old furniture polish. I tried to get this nut loose to turn it around, and I did not have any success, and I don't want to, uh, I don't really want to force it apart, because I'm afraid I might crack some of the wood. You know, I tried just kind of gently tapping it. it. Looks like it's glued in there. I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, String it up and play it, and uh, it may be that the only way this will be playable is with a capo, but that might be true for a couple of reasons because of these damaged frets, too. So I might just hardly have to call that good enough. But I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, and uh, this should be pretty simple. In fact, we're actually very close to being able to string it now. The only thing that keeps us from doing so is I've probably got to make some little wooden wedges, uh, and I'll show you once I get to that part. Basically all you do on a, on a bench like this has got a stick and it's got a square hole and you stick the stick up in the hole and then you've got a tailpiece bolt and there's a hole in the end of the stick and the tailpiece bolt goes down through this hole in the back of the banjo and uh, down through that hole there and you just snug it up. Be careful not to turn it too tightly because if you do crack the stick or strip out that hole then you're going to have to refill the hole or repair of the stick or whatever in order to get it to hold on there right and I just turn it pretty gently with a take a little piece of screwdriver and stick in there and just kind of I don't turn it very tight it does have to be facing so that you can put your uh, your tailpiece in there so that basically the hole has to be facing up when you get through with it which it is doing right now now even though this is on here the stick is not tight you can still twist it and what's going to fix that is, uh, this is kind of an old mechanism, this is the way they used to do it. They, this little gizmo goes down in here and screws into place and there's a couple of little wedged, you basically cut a couple of little wedged pieces of wood that wedge in between here and the base of the banjo. And I'm going to have to make those because this one doesn't have them, they've gotten lost out of here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually going to go out in the woodshed there and I'm going to find me a couple of pieces of some kind of hardwood. I have used ebony for that before. And I don't know if I use ebony or a piece of oak. Kind of depends on what I run across. But I'm going to run out the shed and try to find me a piece of wood that's right to fit in there. And I'll probably wind up cutting me a little piece too. And it's going to be about... Oh, let's see. Gonna need to be about yeah. I got a rough idea in my head how thick it needs to be, so I'll be right back.